in two days from now is Bastille Day. So in homage to our French family and friends, we're gonna make a classic Coquille Saint Jacques. This consists of seared diver sea scallops, roasted wild mushrooms, a little bit of garlic, a little bit of shallots. We're then gonna finish it with some heavy cream, add a little bit of Gruyere cheese, and traditionally it's finished with tarragon, but I'm gonna finish it with some Thai basil. Has the same kind of qualities, except there's a basil finish. What do you say we coquille Saint Jacques? Hello again. Let's coquille my Saint Jacques. First, we're gonna season and then sear diver sea scallops. If you notice, I have them on a paper towel. I did this because I wanna dry them off in order to get that nice crunch sear on the scallops. Once they're dry, we pull them off the towel, we season them with salt and pepper, and then we go to our hot saute pan with a little bit of oil. So, get that nice sizzle going. Once, once we get our pan super hot with a little bit of oil in it, put our scallops in, we want to turn down the heat because we don't want to burn the scallops. We want to delicately saute them, but give them a nice sear without cooking them all the way because we're going to finish it in the oven. Give them a little look, getting, getting seared. All right, <clears throat> now we're going to pull them from the pan. We're going to put them in an oven safe bowl. So we can bake it in the oven and actually serve it in our same bowl. Once that, we're gonna return it back to the heat. I'm gonna saute my mushrooms. We're gonna add a little more oil because the mushrooms are like sponges. They soak up all the oil and it's also gonna soak up all that scallop uh, flavor. I have portobello mushrooms, I have shiitake mushrooms, and I have cremini mushrooms. You can use any kind of mushrooms you want. Now that they started the saute, we're going to add our shallots and garlic. And we're gonna saute that for a few, couple minutes, just until the, the shallots are translucent. We're gonna season them. Just a pinch of salt, not too much. We can always season them later. And pepper, of course. I'm then going to deglaze the pan with some champagne. It also gives us a little hint of acid to cut through the cream. Um, I use champagne because we're French. It's delicate. You can use vermouth. You can use champagne. You can use white wine. You can use brandy. You can use sherry. So we're going to cook out the alcohol. And then we're going to add a little heavy cream. We're gonna make sort of a bechamel. If you go to my five mother sauces, you'll see. I'm gonna give it a little pinch of flour just to hold it together. Just a pinch. Because now I'm gonna add the cheese to it. Just that little bit will help it thicken. And then we're gonna add our, our Gruyere to it. And we're gonna sort of, we're gonna melt it in there. That's also gonna thicken our sauce. I'm gonna take some of the basil and we're gonna chop it up. We're gonna throw it in there. And then we're gonna spoon our mixture onto our scallops. And then we're gonna pop it in the oven for about five to six minutes. We don't wanna overcook the scallops. We don't want eraser heads. We wanna have these nice, delicate, translucent scallops. We give it a little bake in the oven, put a little color on the cream. All right, so our five, six minutes are up. Let's see what we got. Oh, ooh. Très bien, très bien. 
So we got the nice bubbles around the inside of that dish. The cheese is nice and melted. We have a little bit of color on top of the scallops. The only thing we need now is a little bit of crusty bread so we can get up all that sauce when we're finished eating. Crusty bread. We're gonna finish it with some basil sprouts. And there we have it, Coquille Saint-Jacques a la Jason. <laughs>